This is Leon. And I want to talk about how there's a tendency within myself to take a memory of how I directed a point. What I mean by directed a point was stabilizing a point within myself um, or at least doing self-forgiveness for a point within myself. Um, um, for example, uh, if an image or a picture or an imagination comes up within my mind, uh, I would do self-forgiveness in that moment. And so... When I do self-forgiveness, there is a point of stability within myself. Through directing the thoughts and the imaginations um, to instead of creating an experience to the thought or the imagination, I do self-forgiveness to release that experience because the experience was only virtual you know imagine uh, I realize when I create experiences to imaginations it is like living in a virtual reality and the question is why do I want to live in a virtual reality I don't so I find it uh, commonsensical to when a thought or an imagination comes up within my mind, whatever the thought or imagination is, and whenever there is an experience to the thought or the imagination that is activated within myself, such as desire or resistance, I know that it's coming from a virtual reality dimension, which is the dimension of thoughts and the imaginations. So I'm going to direct myself to move myself into physical reality. Because I don't want to be stuck in, in virtual reality all my life. I want to be able to live and to develop on myself in relation to the physical reality. And I realized that the physical reality requires no uh, thoughts or imaginations, you know. <clears throat> so I realized, you know, that the point of direction is the point of self-direction. Self-stability is in every moment of breath. But I realized how I connect a memory of me stabilizing a point or a thought or an imagination within my mind. How I use that memory and project it onto physical reality. And so, therefore, within that projection, I create an experience that I am stable already. You know, that I have moved the point already. But the mind, you know, it's like, um, you know that saying, the devil is busy? Well, I realize that the mind uh, is very busy. Uh, in relation to how the mind constantly creates these loops of thoughts and imaginations within and as myself. Especially when you go to sleep, there's this, these loops of what, what science calls hypnagogic imagery. You know, but I realize within some instances of my day, if I slow myself down, I am able to uh, be aware of 
these looping thoughts within my mind. Uh, and so I realized that the point of stability is in every moment of breath. And it's in every moment that I have to constantly keep myself stable here because if I do not, I will create a memory of me when I directed a point in the past and I will use that memory to project the experience in physical reality that I that I have already stabilized that point. It's actually a point of laziness, you know. It's also a point of self-sabotage because self does not exist in the past. Self is here, you know. So that is why I have to self-direct in every moment, not just in one instance and utilizing that instance to constantly project experiences of stability within and throughout my day. And so, you know, uh, and I realize how there's these instances within myself where the mind will create these very intense experiences of, for instance, desire or resistance. And I realize if I constantly desire something or someone, that there will also be constant resistances to other people, places, and or things within my world and reality. So I will constantly move my awareness within resistance and desire. Resistance and desire. And then within that, I will I will be a slave, if you will, to the media. Because the media represents desire and resistance. Uh, so I will constantly move myself back and forth within desire resistance just like a cradle rocking back and forth you know and that will be my awareness and nothing more than that isn't that kind of sad I wouldn't say sad, but isn't that kind of limited? I don't want to live like that. So it is a point of directing myself in every moment because uh, uh, it is a point of directing myself in every moment unless I uh, want to constantly and continuously be moved by desire and resistance. And within that case, there is no self-direction. There is only being directed or dictated by the mind, by desire, by resistance in every moment. So, um, it is a point of stabilizing myself in every moment. So, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to be moved by desire and resistance. I forgive myself that I've allowed myself to be moved by energy. What is energy? Emotions and feelings. Because what is desire? It is a feeling. What is resistance? It is an emotion. What is the difference? Feeling is positive, emotion is negative. And so I forgive myself that I've allowed myself to be moved by emotions, negative experiences, positive experiences within myself and allow those and allow emotions and feelings to be the dictator of myself I forgive myself that I have ex not accepted and allowed myself to direct myself which requires no emotions or feelings because self-direction is here why do I need an emotion or a feeling to direct myself? It then becomes a point of dependency, depending on emotions and feelings as one's self-direction. And so I commit myself 
to direct myself in every moment of breath to stop trusting in and stop relying on experiences from past moments projecting the those experiences onto the present physical because that is also based on energy as an emotional feeling it is based on a point of giving up within oneself so I commit myself to direct myself in every moment of breath alright well that is all that I have Thank you. Oh, and, and 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 also, I can also commit myself to direct myself through uh, making it a consideration to assist and support myself to develop integrity within myself. Um. So I will post some links here uh, as part of this video on on what I found within my life very uh, detailed process of how I have thus far assisted and supported myself to develop integrity to learn you know what to learn what emotions and feelings are and what they do they do to me as an individual. All right, thank you.